Hey everyone, I have the pleasure of unboxing and checking out the Optisolix solar bag. Uh, this was rolled out recently. There was actually a Kickstarter for this. This is a very cutting edge, very powerful solar panel. It's actually a set of solar panels that you can run together or uh, separately. We're gonna open it up now and take a look. Then we'll do a deep dive into the uh, functionality of this thing, see how it works. Let's pop it open. is indeed solar in a bag so let's go ahead and tip it over and start pulling the parts out we'll see what that is okay we've got the big bag we got a whole bunch of cables here that's interesting and then lots of styrofoam, so it's well packed, even though it's not too fragile. Wow. Here we've got some really heavy gauge, the standard solar connectors that you see on all the solar panels. And here is the bag. So pop this open. Let's see what's in here. Looks like we've got connectors. There is, check this out. So the connector with USB ports already attached. So you can open this up and plug your USB devices directly in to this device. It's a slightly different configuration of the bag, but it's the same deal. You've got the USB and USB-C right here. Oh, and here's some stats on it. Now what do we got here? 440 watts, so 220 watts per side. Uh, 36 volts is the optimum operating voltage. Yeah, the whole thing's around 18 pounds. And for the USB outputs, you can see we've got USB-C, USB-A1, USB-A2. Uh, pretty high voltage USB. Let's take a look at what's in this box, which I'm hoping is the uh, instructions <laughs> because I need to read about this thing. What's the point of doing an unboxing if you don't go through the instructions? Oh, nice, very big, big print, lots of pictures. Let's go ahead and take a look at this here. So you can go directly to a battery with this, which is I think why they have the, um, the, the big heavy gauge uh wires yeah i've got some reading to do this seems to be a very complex and very powerful unit but we've got to figure out how it all works so i've got to read the instructions i really don't want to screw anything up i never want to screw something up especially something that's running power and electricity uh just by turning it all on and trying it without reading the instructions. I know a lot of guys just like to get to it and the instructions are sort of there if they have a problem. But I really do recommend, whether it's your vehicle or just a little device like this, that you read the full instruction booklet before you actually turn anything on. You don't want to screw anything up. So besides the instruction booklet here, we've got this Solix brick and some tools here. Looks like they give you some connector tools. They give you some bolts some kind of plate. I kind of just want to unzip the whole darn thing and take a look at it. Oh, they got a lock on the latch, so you can't uh, have them open accidentally. That's nice. It's around 21 inches by 17 inches by four and a half inches or 53 centimeters by 43 centimeters by uh, you know, 11, 12 centimeters. unfolded this thing opens up to 66 inches by 61 inches or 168 centimeters by 157 centimeters you can see how big it is and we've got the zipper down the middle so you basically have two units and the zipper separates them so you can have these in two different places two different uses 
This thing is massive. This is by far the biggest solar array of panels I've had ever. Now, before I connect this to my charging unit, before I connect this to my trailer, like I said, we need to read the instructions and understand how this works. But you can see right now, this is a whole lot of solar power. All in a bag, solar in a bag. I like it. How did it fold? Like this, and like this. There we go. And we'll fold her up. The material is super durable, like a backpack kind of material. Again, we're gonna read all the instructions on here. Now we have all of this. So now I'm gonna read up on this and then we're gonna try it out. This is a beast. I like it. Inside the OptiSolix 400 solar bag, you'll get 400 watt foldable solar panel, the powerful solar brick S1 power converter, solar adapter cables, an MC4 tool, four carabiners, a shoulder strap, a full mounting bracket kit, and a user manual. The panel delivers up to 440 watts at peak and features dual voltage output, 36 or 18 volts, plus a USB support up to 45 watts. The Solex bricks auto adjust for 12, 24, or 48 volt DC output, handling up to 50 amps and 450 watts at 12 12 volt. So I went ahead and hooked them up in series. So both sides are connected, but of course we've got a lot of cloud cover going on right now. Wow, I just saw it at 391. 378, here comes another cloud. But that is some significant power. Again, we're dealing with some clouds. It's not pure sun, but we're getting really close. So this first test I'm doing is just running the pair of panels hooked up without an MPPT controller. So I'm not using the solar brick uh, that comes with this, and that's the MPPT controller. Because my all powers unit already has an MPPT controller, I don't need that yet. So I just wanted to test the panels by themselves and just measure what their output is. And you know, on this partially cloudy day, I've been seeing it just touch 400 watts. But to see 400 and see it touch 400 for a second, that's impressive. I can't wait to hook up the solar brick and actually start the ember getting that charged seeing how fast it goes. Good morning, everybody. It is the second day here. I'm in there doing my job, my day job, making statements of work. So I just came out to check my numbers. With this, plus the 570 watts that I have on my roof, I now have one kilowatt of charging power, plus the old 200 watt panel that I already had mounted on my truck. I'm well over 1200 watts or 1 1.2 kilowatts of solar power now. All right, it's raining. I put this underneath our awning, but I left that out in the rain. Let's test the rating on this panel. Does it really hold up in the rain? We're about to find out. It's raining out and I'm still getting 51 watts out of that thing. I'll take it. Over my time here using the solar bag, I've realized one of the most efficient ways I can kind of keep my recycling of, of solar going is to hook up my office basically to one of the portable units and then leave the big solar bag attached to it. During peak hours, I'm like getting 300 plus watts and I'm only using 30 to 70 watts depending on what my computer is doing at the time. So that means that it's like unlimited usage pretty much at that point. Now what we're gonna do on this trip is I don't have the SAE to MC4 connector. That's the traditional MC4 solar connector to the SAE um, uh, plug, which I'll show right here in the video. Got it hooked up to my main all powers battery, the one I use for the Starlink. And it is just cranking in. Unfortunately, I can't see how many watts it's putting in because I'm taking watts out. It only shows one or the other but uh, it's the little wheel is spinning real fast, like it's gonna charge up fast. Uh, it's 53% now, so after dinner, I'll check to see. We've got another hour at least of direct sunlight and then some indirect sunlight. So might as well just leave it out. You can see I have it hooked up to the side of the truck using a couple of bungees, so I can just sort of set it up wherever the sun is that day. Well, it's going into the shade, but for the last hour or so, it kept it held at 53%, which means it was putting in as much as it was taken out and, and that's good enough for me. That'll get us through the night, 50% on the battery for our Starlink. I think we're good. It's time for me to go have some dinner. 
Once again, the Optisolix solar bag has really been helping us out. Last night as we were using Starlink, I kept the battery flat until the sun was like gone in the sky and over the side. Even in the shades was providing us uh, some additional power so that basically the battery stayed flatline overnight. Of course, it ran down to like 8%, but I put the Optisolix on there and now it's up to like 17 or 18% just in the last hour. So it's now charging it back up for the day. I haven't had to run the generator. I like that. So we're up to 26% now. So I started at 9% a couple hours ago, a few hours ago. And over this morning, it took us up to 26%. So I'm gonna unplug the big panel, plug back in to the little panel. Folds up pretty darn easy. And then this, and then this, and we're good. Feeble. And just shove it in the side here. So yeah, so, and then I just take it and just put it in the back. Solar power. That's pretty quick. Hey everyone, so we're here at Salmon Glacier. What a crazy spot to be showing this uh, product off. But since we're up here, we just shot a bunch of drone footage and we used our GoPro to come up here. So we thought this is a good time to try to use the Optisolix solar bag to charge up some of our devices while we hang out and check out the view. So I wanna show a different use. What you've seen so far is me using it to charge up devices by using the whole 400 watt um, solar panel setup as a uh, as a one unit basically because I wire these in series and I get quite a bit of voltage I can charge up our Starlink uh, battery the the all powers in you know half a day to a day um, it's, pr it's pretty powerful but I'm gonna show you this cool thing see there's a zipper in the middle right here and I'm gonna unzip these into two different panels Now, they're two separate panels. And another cool thing about this is there is a charging unit in here, which I'll show in a moment, and that has USB-C and USB-A ports. So the idea here is you can plug in and directly charge off of here. So let's start with the drone battery. This is my drone battery charging pack, and I've got a USB-C cable here. What I'm gonna do, is we are going to plug into here, and I haven't done this before, so you're watching me try this for the first time. We're going to plug in to the charging port directly. We're going to let that hang down. We're going to open this up so it's getting the full sun. At least, unfortunately, it's cloudy out, so we're only going to get so much of a test here. But the question is, when I plug this in, will we see it start charging? And as you can see, they just lit up and it's charging. Look at that, and it's charging at a decent rate. The blink rate shows how fast it's charging. And that is a surprising rate. Now the GoPro. The GoPro, unfortunately, has a very short cable. So it's gonna be harder to show you, but we have the same thing here. We've got a little charging port that I can plug into. And we'll open it up. And we can see that the light is on. It is charging. So once again, these Optisolix solar in a bag setups have really proven themselves. Um, we're gonna let these charge for a little bit while we take a break and just enjoy this gorgeous view. Relax, have a little snack, and then we're gonna drive back down. We'll use some more of these batteries on the drive down. So this will be a nice test to see, can we get the GoPro charged up enough to record the trip down? Okay, I've been running the air conditioner for a little while just to bring it down off of 100% because I want to test how much do the panels help. All right, we've cut the AC, cut the inverter. Let's take a look at kind of a date stamp of where we're at. 223 amp hours. All right, well, after turning off the air conditioner and letting it charge with the extra solar panels, now I've disconnected them and we'll see if the rate of charge changes. One way or another, we've got about a kilowatt of solar hooked up and that's awesome. So this is not science, but according to my math, and I'm gonna correct myself right here if I'm wrong, 
Uh, it looks like using the RV solar alone, we were only charging at 4.7 amp hours per hour. But when we added in the Optisolix, we jumped up to 8.6 amp hours per hour of charge. So clearly it was providing significantly more power. So uh, at first glance, there's a clearly an increased charge rate. It's gonna show over time. But clearly when I hooked it up, we saw a increase. The other cool thing is that I kept checking the port that went into the trailer because uh, a friend of mine with an Ember recently showed how his was kind of getting burnt. Although he had the adapter on it that flips gender. Uh, it looks like it's working. Um, and by unplugging it and seeing it drop, I've got the genders all set up right. No heat coming out of anything. Uh, the temperature was room temperature pretty much. So it is nice to see how much you can spend a day with your RV doing things and watching TV. I really do love running off of solar. Every time I spend the day with my RV and don't run the generator, it feels like a win. So as usual in my reviews, I like to look at three basic factors, and that is the ease of use, the functionality, and the durability. As far as the functionality goes, this thing is very functional. The, the way you can run them as a series connected 440 watt panel, or you can run them as separate panels. You can run them through an MPPT controller, or you can just plug in devices directly to them. The functionality is off the chart and it works great. Durability seems real solid. I used it in the rain, has that durable outside, that canvas style uh, backpack kind of uh, fabric. I'm not worried at all about the durability. Ease of use is the only area where I gave it four instead of five, and that's just because the USB ports are difficult to reach because they're sort of in the middle. When you have it all folded out, the USB ports are in the center, and it really would be nice if the USB ports were out along the edge so you could just plug it into the panel without having to lift the whole panel up and fish around for it. But that's a small factor, and overall, I highly recommend this product. After a few days with the Optisolix solar bag, I gotta say, no real downside so far. It's been solid, and I'm pretty impressed. I'm certainly gonna keep this in my setup, and if you're looking to upgrade your solar setup, it's definitely worth checking out. I'll leave a link below so you can learn more about it, and as always, if you got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Optisolix unboxing video. Do it. Oh, okay. Is it recording now? Okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yes. Yeah. So we're doing the OptiSolex promos here at Salmon Glacier on July 4th. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Let me get the shot. Inserts. Leave it running. Stop it, Linus. Cool, you go to bed, Molly. <laughs>